Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're staying safe. My name's Zach and I'm from Pathways. Hi, my name's Joe and I'm another member of the Pathways team as well. So, if you don't know us, Pathways, we are based in Leicestershire and we work with young people across the county to try and help you guys learn a little bit more about higher education and explore your pathways and potentially make some decisions about your next steps. So today we're going to be looking at one of the worksheets that we offer that goes alongside our website um, and it's going to help you guys learn a little bit more about your next steps, a little bit more about what you have to do to go, up, go on towards higher education after you finish school or college. So there you can see the, web, the worksheet, uh, you should all have one in front of you as well. Um, yeah, as, as Zach has, has mentioned, you know, this, this worksheet is designed to basically run alongside our website. So a lot of you may be unfamiliar with the Pathways website or might struggle navigating it. So this is just a really simple activity to go through different aspects of the website, learn a little bit about us, what we do, about higher education, further education, and also, yeah, learn a little bit about our partner institutions and give you an idea of kind of your future um in higher education or further education whichever you choose to do so hopefully this will be a lot of help to you and this little walkthrough will just guide you through it a little bit further yeah exactly and so to get started what we need you guys to do is to go to this link here i've just clicked on it so this is the beautiful pathways website this is the brand new and improved website and everything all the answers for the questions that you're going to be looking at on the worksheet are going to be somewhere on those websites you've got to navigate your way around and you'll be able to answer these questions but to start with we are just going to look at those first four questions on the first page and so we want you to go through the pathways website have a look in the different sections and try and find out what are the names of the universities we work with um what does UCAS stand for this might be something you've heard a term you've heard before this can be really important you can also have a look at the UCAS website. I'm not going to click on that yet, just yet, because it will give away the answers. But you know, what is it there for? What what does UCAS? What is? Why would you use it? And how is it going to benefit you? And finally, for question four, you can give some examples of what you would write in a personal statement. So again, on the Pathways website. So if you go onto this, what you need to know section here, scroll down to the bottom. It's going to have information on personal statements on UCAS and that's where you can find the answers. So once you've um, once you've found the answers to those questions, we'll go through them with you. So what we suggest now is that you pause this video, go through the Pathways website, find out what the answers are, write them down on your worksheet and then play the video and we'll go through the answers with you. But don't cheat, don't play the video until you find the answers for yourself. So welcome back. Um, hopefully you've managed to get all the answers down in the time that you had. Uh, to go through the answers now, just to make sure that there is no ambiguity, although I'm sure that you've done really, really well and got all the answers. So I'm just gonna go to the website, and as it says, Explorer Pathways uh, section, Explorer Pathways uh, section. Click here, and as you can see clearly, these are the universities that we work with. So we are a Leicestershire-based company. Our three main partners are De Montfort University, University of Leicester and Loughborough University. And then we've also got University of Northampton, who are just something a little bit extra, who if you want to explore a little bit further afield. But those are our main partners. Then going to UCAS, that can be found in the What You Need to Know section. All the way down to year 13, as you can see, UCAS and about UCAS deadlines. So as you can see, if you click on the UCAS link, it tells you that the answer is universities and college admission services. So well done if you've got that. And it's basically a platform for you to go and explore different courses around HE and FE, so higher education and further education. And you can use that service to apply for these courses and hopefully get your place um, confirmed to go and study at one of these institutions. So go on the UCAS website to find out more so you can understand what different courses on offer and how to apply in different deadlines, all kinds of things like that. So it's just ucast.com. So please do go to it to find out more.
Uh, and then we're going to go to question four now. Give some examples of key things you would write in your personal statement. So that can be found just at the following stop on our timeline, personal statement. So as it says, personal statements, uh, opportunity to showcase to your admission tutors your passion and enthusiasm. So if you think of it like a CV, it's just to basically describe who you are as a student and everything that you do in your your academic life, but also your personal life, what hobbies you've got, different volunteering opportunities that you've got. So you've got a, a useful little information if you just click this button here. You've it's got a breakdown. Of just a way to sell yourself, really. You've, you've, got to, you've got to make yourself look appealing to the university you're applying for because you've got to think admissions teams look through hundreds of personal statements every day. So you've got to really try and sell yourself and demonstrate why what you want to study is something that you're passionate about and um yeah it's quite a good way to to um showcase yourself and everything that you do and all the interesting things about you it's exactly that i mean there's going to be so many students that apply to the the same course that have all got similar um subjects and different grades so this is just a way to identify you as an individual that might make you stand out from everyone else this is just a guide that we've got using Loughborough University that give you different tips and advice on how to structure a personal statement, different things to include. So again, go through this when you're ready to kind of get a good understanding of what a personal statement is and uh, how you can write one yourself. So back to the, the trail itself, we're going to move to the next few questions, which is uh, click on the year group now that in the left hand column list the boxes that you can see and note down one thing you think is useful. So there's no real right or wrong answer here. It's all down to what, what you think is useful. Go back to the homepage, click on activities, write down the name of an activity you'll be interested in to participate and why. Again, no right and wrong answer. And seven, use the space below to plan and name an activity that you'd be interested in and has not been part of Pathways in the past. So this is your time to be creative come up with anything that you want that you think pathways should be running and that you as students would be really interested in taking part in so have fun get creative uh, we will stop the the video now and uh, come up see what you can come up with so so welcome back guys i hope you had a good chance to really have a good go at those questions there and answer all three of them um so as like Joe said before, there's no wrong or right answers to these ones, but you but I'm sure you worked out that you needed to come to this section here, what you need to know section of our website. So down the left hand side here is got we got all the year groups that we help. So we offer resources for everyone from year nine all the way through to year 13 students. But but you know if you're in year 13 and you want to know about some higher education terminology, of course you can go back and look at some of the year nine resources. So if you're in year nine, we offer these resources here that can help you find out a little bit more about what it is to be a student. So there's a lot of confusing terms around higher education. So this resource here is going to help you to learn about some of these things that are completely new terms that you will never heard before whilst you're at school or college. But also student blogs so you can get a feel of what it's like to be a student and a little bit about the extracurricular activities that the universities and higher education institutions tend to offer. So again, year 10, more information about student accommodation. So what's it like if you live away from home? Student services, how can you get help from universities or higher education uh, institutions? Placement opportunities, so a lot of people work um, work for a year whilst they're at uni on a, what's called a placement year, or they might even study abroad for a year, um, which is a really exciting opportunity to have when you go to university. Again, into year 11, more, um, more resources that are going to be tailored for you when you're in year 11. So what is higher education? Choosing your A-levels. So obviously if you're in year 11, you're going to be looking at starting your A-levels potentially in year 12. So if you're thinking about higher education, the A-levels you take are going to be very important for the degree you're able to take because a lot of degrees or university courses only allow you to take that course if you have specific A-levels. But also tips, you know, you're going to be doing your GCSEs that year. So there's some really, really good revision tips, study skills, and also a lot of resources about higher and degree apprenticeships, which might be something you don't know, you've not heard of before, but they're another fantastic way to get into higher education. You know, it's not just university. 
Um, but there's plenty of options out there and plenty of steps you can take to go towards higher education after you finish school or college. So year 12, choosing a university, that's an, obviously a really important one. When you get into year 12, you know, post 16 education, you've got to start thinking about where you want to study. And there's loads of resources on our website, particularly around the three less year universities, but there's loads of information out there about all the other huge range of courses and universities that we have in the, this country again looking at open days they're going to be really important you can go to a university and get a feel um, for what what it's like at the moment a lot of universities are offering virtual open days i know dmu is doing one actually on the 4th of july but there's also information about student finance uh, and again going into year 13 you know this is potentially your last year before you go to higher education so this is when you know you've got to think about in September you've got to start applying on UCAS which is what we mentioned before you've got to start applying for UCAS higher education course you've got to start writing your personal statement in October and you've got to apply for your student finance in January so we've got resources on there that are going to help so yeah this is just highlighted all the tons of resources we have on there and as for these questions there's no right or wrong answer maybe you looked at something and thought oh I don't know much about that so this resource is going to help me um, this is something I find interesting um, or that could really help me decide what I want to do in my next steps. And hopefully you guys over the next few years come to utilize some of these resources and they're going to help you decide what you want to do after you finish school or college. So again, question six, write down any activities you'd be interested in participating in. So on the Pathways website, you can see all the activity we run. We run loads of activities. We've got some really cool ones that are going to be going on this summer obviously we've had to completely change them they're all done online but they're still amazing they're still so useful they're so much fun so there's loads of things we offer here i think we're doing a science one which is starting soon a sports one as well which is going to be really cool and might even have the chance to meet some um elite sports stars um we're also running this one going on at the moment which is future me which is all around careers and what you what different industries there are out there because there's so many jobs out there that you might not have heard about so yeah as you can see we offer loads and loads of really cool activities which you guys can sign up for if you want to so again as joe was saying no wrong answer just which one of these appeals to you the most maybe if you're really interested in sport it's going to be the sport one if you really like science it might be the science one and then moving on to the final question you're looking at making your own activity that we could offer i'm sure you've come up with some amazing and wonderful things so please do let us know you can head over to our website um, if you go to the about us section scroll right down to the bottom you've got all different ways of how to get in touch with us so send us an email send it to us on social media we've got all our different links just here and we'd love to hear it so whatever the idea is small or big even if you think it's the craziest idea let us know and you never know it might be something that we can offer in the future if it is something that you students want so please do get in touch yeah absolutely and it, like joe said the links to our social media are there so definitely check out uh, our social media channels we've got we've got some really um, interesting videos on our youtube channel that are going to help you guys understand a little bit more how higher education we post loads of information on twitter facebook and instagram about um, activities we're running so i would definitely recommend checking those out as they are really going to help be helpful for you guys in your pathways to higher education so i thought you had a good fun exploring the website and going through your university of choice um We'd love to go through the answers with you, but we can't go through the answers for each specific university because you've all probably gone for different ones, which is fine. Um, but just kind of so you've got a, a general idea of where you might find these um, and also just give you a little bit more of a background information. We thought we'd just go through a couple of little bits. So going to the, the second question is what you, the interview. So going into the second question is introducing the video of the university so you'd be going clicking on the explorer pathway section and the university choice and then it would be the introduction video just here so you click that and follow that and it will tell you more about the introduction just a general overview of what that university has to offer and um, hope you pick some really good points for each one then it would be to have a 
a look around and take a quick tour. So it says take a quick tour here. And it just loads up all the different videos that are on offer. Each one has got their own specific videos in different areas because each university is different in terms of the things that they offer. Loughborough is very known for sport, whereas DMU is more sort of fashion and art and design. That's probably their focus, although it does do a, a wide range of courses as well. And the same with University of Leicester, a, a big wide range, but it's more focused on sort of like perhaps the what's considered the more traditional courses, uh, medicine and things like that. A really, really great university for a lot of the sciences, especially physics and things like that. Loads of different um, specialties. So if you fit into one of those specialties, it kind of makes sense to to go to the university that that is really good for that specialty. But also at the same time, you're more than welcome to go to wherever you want if you think that the um, you know as long as they do the course, by all means, explore. So watch the campus video. So as you've seen. You will start and you'll click the the video here about the campus life. It was just again an overview of of all the different areas within campus, some of the buildings, some of what the student life is like. So we move on to the next question, which asks you to look at the student services and three services which they might offer. So every university in the whole of the country is going to have student services. So you know it, it can be quite a scary thing. You know you're mo potentially moving away from home for the first time. You're having to look after your own money, you're having to pay rent. So there's, every university is going to have a team of people who are there to help you to make sure that your time at university is the best it can possibly be. So it might be help with rent, um, with housing, with uh, landlords, with your course, with if you're having anything else that's going on um, in your life that might be affecting your studies, they're going to be able to help you with that. They're also, they, they have mental health help. Um, but they're also just there to help you with things like when you come to university, they're big places, they might help you there, um, pointing you in the right direction, you know, where buildings are, um, information about courses and open days and all sorts of things like that. So student services are really, really useful and they are really going to help to make your time at university the best it can possibly be. So the next question asks you to look at student union. Uh, what did you find interesting about the student union of the university you were looking at? So every student, every university, sorry, has a student union. And like you can see there, it is the social hub of campus and it's a fully in independent organization that is run by students. Um, it's often got restaurants and bars and cafes and study spaces as part of the student union that you can go and visit whilst you're on campus. So it's a really cool place and like it says there, it's the perfect place to meet for a coffee or even volunteer. Like they often have volunteering opportunities that you can do in, in campus and work with charities and things like that. Or it's also a great place to relax. So yeah, so it is. Um, student unions are a really cool place and they're, they're very unique to universities and higher education. And um, I don't know what you guys found interesting about the, the student unions you were looking at, but for me personally, the University of Leicester has the... O2 Academy on their university, which I've always just thought is so cool. And I was it's massive, isn't it? Absolutely massive. Yeah, it's a huge, it's a huge one. It's a huge um, music venue. And I was always jealous of people who got to study there because it was like, it must be so cool to just have this amazing music venue just on your, on your campus that you can go and see bands or DJs or rappers or whoever, because they're always getting really cool artists and new up and coming artists and things like that playing at their student union. So that would have been something I would have included on my list if I was looking at the University of Leicester, but obviously you guys might have completely different things. So next we're going to take a look at two interesting facts about student accommodation. So again, back on this little trail, we've got all, there'll be different videos depending on what university you look like, but it will basically give you a summary of kind of like the different accommodation that's based on campus, the idea of halls. So that is like student accommodation that's affiliated just to the university itself but then there's also private halls where it's a different company that will perhaps uh, be renting out the the spaces you're going to get all sorts of different ones from studio flats to ensuite flats to um you know big sort of 12 people dorms just to smaller ones that are perhaps three or four so ultimately it's you choosing which one is the best for you 
whether that's in terms of what bed you get, what, whether you're sharing a bathroom or not, whether you're sharing it with people, it's all up to you. If, even if, you know, depending on if you want to be close to campus or you don't mind being a little bit further away, all these things will change the price, but it's up to you to try and realize which it is that you feel most comfortable living in. And also if you want to just commute, that's okay as well. Um, I know loads of people that, that did. I did for the whole three years that I was an undergraduate student. Um, but also I know people that they were in halls for one year, they went back home the second year, and then the third year they found a flat in town. So whatever it is that, that kind of fits your sort of style, go with that. There's no sort of worry about that. Then we've also got a look at kind of like the sport at university. So Loughborough University is massively, massively sport orientated. There are Olympians who study there and train there. That's kind of like the degree of, of where they are with sport. They do really well in the books leagues, which is you know a big competition with all the universities um, facing against each other. Loughborough seem to win every single one, every single year. They really are sort of like the, the top level, really. They yeah, definitely they put really me to are. shame. They really are hard to beat, they, they especially they do dominate a lot of the sports. But uh, if you like sports, then it, regardless of what university you're at, it's a good place to be because every university offers so many different sports and so many sports teams. And like Joe mentioned, Bucks, which is the British University College of Sport, and there's like a big league that you all compete with other universities in. And I think what's cool is, is you can participate in sports that are so different to what you might be used to doing at school and you maybe your PE lessons and things like that so yeah sports yeah. sports really good at higher education then um, sorry Jay carry on no it's, yeah I was just saying that it's brilliant the fact that you've got these competitive leagues like yes you've got like the top tier where all the best are going to be competing in but we've also got lots of other leagues underneath if you're perhaps not as good but you still want to be competitive there's also loads of different activities to just get involved in for a bit of fun um, and there's also like each university, they've got some amazing gym facilities with a sports hall. So depending on how serious you want to get involved, there's definitely going to be something for you to, to get involved in. And you can join a sports team at university and just represent the university or just do it for a little bit of fun and, and meeting some new friends. That's perfectly fine. It's whatever you want to do is more than fine. So definitely something to look into if you're remotely interested in sport. And then the final thing is libraries. So again, every university is going to have a library. Some universities have multiple, just simply because if you think there's so many different courses covered, it's not just at school where you've got you, you know, a small selection of about 10 or 12 um, subjects. They've got a wide, wide range of subjects that they need to get um, specific textbooks and journals for. So they're, they're usually massive. I mean, DMU is, is four stories, high i don't know about university of leicester but that's got loads and loads and loads of space in different uh, textbooks there same with loughborough so they've got some really good spaces for you to study there and also get you know the the research that you need to do whilst you're at university and also they'll also offer loads of different support to you as well so if you're struggling with how to reference your essays they'll give you sort of support classes there if you need some help with some functional skills, like if you perhaps your English and maths isn't quite as high as it needs to be to do well in your course, they can sort of do like top-up classes to support you. So it's a wonderful um, thing that you, you have on offer at your university. Each one is gonna have its own like different characteristics and, and different facilities that makes it stand out from perhaps the others. But in a large part, they're all very, very similar in terms of the things that they cover. So. It's just there for you as a student to use as and when you need it. So it really is a wonderful space. So as you can see now, we've come to the end of the actual worksheet itself. And I really, really hope that that was helpful for you guys. I really hope you've learned a little bit more about um, not only the universities we have here in Leicestershire, the amazing universities we have right on our doorstep, but also a little bit more about higher education in general and how you can get it to go towards higher education after you finish school or college and hopefully this has made you start to think about your next steps um what, what you are going to do once you finish as i said school or college so but if you look at that little, last little box at the end you finished the quick tour but you can continue to explore the website we've only 
looked at a little bit of the website today. There is so many resources on there. There is so much on our website that can help you guys understand more about higher education and think about what you guys, what you want to do next. So, uh, like it says there, you can actually, we can actually able to take tours through our website. And this is the virtual tour that we offer on our website of DMU. So DMU is an absolutely amazing campus. It's so beautiful. I know Joe went there for like five years. He was lucky enough to be able to study on this lovely, lovely campus and like um, VJ Patel building. If you've ever been um, to the campus, you've been lucky enough to see this. It's cool. It's really cool. It's got amazing views over the city if you go up to the top. So definitely go and check this out for yourself. Have a look around campus. Have a look. You can actually look inside all the buildings. You can look at the art studio, the blast blown studio. You can go and have a look inside the dance studio, the lecture theatres seminar rooms you can really have a detailed look around campus and see everything it's got to offer um, same with the University of Leicester so this is an example of uh, student first year student accommodation for the University of Leicester for their halls that is actually based in Oadby so again have a more detailed look around find a little bit about a little bit more about what it's actually like to live away from home live at university study at a university be on campus and all things like that it'll give you a little more of a feel um of what it's what it's like to go to higher education and hopefully it will really help you guys to decide what you want to do next um, and i think it's it's probably the best part of the website the fact that you can have that 360 tour of yeah, so many absolutely. different facilities that you perhaps wouldn't normally see yeah. um so you might as well make the use of it whilst you can and particularly if you happen to have a vr headset or you can get hold of a pathways headset maybe you um your school has, has been given a load from us and literally you can use it on your phone you can wear them and you can turn your head and pretend like you're actually in one of the buildings or the accommodation yes. itself so really really cool sort of feature that we've got yeah it is really cool and um especially at the moment because obviously most of us are stuck inside we can't just pop to dmu or to university of leicester and have a look around we can't go to the open days they're offering because they're not they're not doing them at the moment because of the lockdown so now more than ever this is an amazing thing to be able to have and um, we're lucky enough to have this technology that we can just go and have a look around campus from the safety of our own homes so yeah definitely have a look at that for yourselves there's tons of stuff on here about um loughborough as well and you can have a little look at loughborough's campus i'll just show you some examples of leicester and dmu um so yeah thank you very much guys i hope that's been useful for you i hope this has helped you guys out today. I hope you've learned a little bit more about higher education and the pathways to higher education. But check out our social media, check out the website a little bit more for yourself. Have a look around the universities, have a look around universities elsewhere in the country. Just learn as much as you can and start to think about your next steps. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.